You know, the president keeps shouting how transparent his administration is, but try telling that to journalists who have been repeatedly stonewalled by the White House. Now, 38 journalist groups are demanding this censorship. That's what they're calling it. Stop. So the mainstream media might be turning, but this fellow was raising these issues long before Society Professional Journalist President Dave Coulier is leading that charge. Dave, your beef is what? What's the president doing that's got your goat? Well, we, we have a problem with the president and, and the federal government and, frankly, all levels of government controlling the information. The professionalization of government PR that's been building over 30 or 40 years, that spinning information is getting to the public. And uh, it, it really needs to stop and, and we're tired of it and we want to push back. You know what I noticed, Dave, is that uh, in order to stay in good company with the powers that be, be either Republican or Democrat, you never want to tick them off, either in print uh, or in broadcast. So a lot of the journalists today will, you know, hold back their fire on this president might be just so they don't risk losing an interview or access to the White House. And that's how it's played. And I'm wondering if it's overplayed now or whether that's heightened. What do you what do you think? Well, I think you certainly have journalists out there who are lapdogs, who just do what the government says so they don't make waves, so they don't lose sources. And, but you have a lot of other journalists out there who are aggressive, tenacious, digging up stories. It's a mixture, like you'd have anything else. The problem is we need more tenacious journalists, and we need more pushback to break through these sophisticated techniques that's prohibiting information getting to the public, directly uh, getting in the way. That's why we are speaking out now after years of just hanging back in the in the shadows and why not you specifically war. David why did so many in the media hang back and 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 and, and let this fester to the cancer it's become uh, because now I'm wondering yeah. if it's almost irreversible well that's a really good point you know I think in journalism in the in the culture of journalism you're seen as weak if you whine you know just buck up do your jobs this is inside baseball we shouldn't complain you know that sort of thing I think we're at the point now where it's gotten so bad that we have to speak up, that this is getting in the way of people getting information. That's where we're at at this point. It's, it's just, it's gone way overboard. You know, uh, this is not about Republicans or Democrats or uh, particular presidents. This has been building from all the presidents for 30 years, and we've gotten to a point to where can it turn back? I mean, that's a really good question. But we got to try, because if we don't, this country's in trouble. No, I think you're quite right. I've always been reminded what, you know, when I've been ostracized by either a Republican or a Democrat, and I say, well, you will never, ever, 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 uh, you know, get, get in to see the senator or the congressman or the president. And I always remind, I said, well, the funny thing is, I'll always be mentioning his name. So uh, I think there's an attitude that we have to have that we cannot buckle under anyone's pressure but Dave to, to we shade cannot you for trying. buckle Dave cool. thank you and very, it's getting very much. worse well you're right about yeah, that. thank you very much but thanks for trying to stop it